Benitez to the right of your screen. Leonard to the left. WBC World Welterweight title at stake. Benitez, the defending champ. First two rounds, cautious, fighting. Any edge seemed to have gone in those rounds to Sugar Ray Leonard. Third man in the ring, Carlos Padilla, veteran referee, has worked some of the victims. Remember the left jab, the key, from Leonard's point of view. Leonard's hand and foot speed, sometimes dazzling. But Benitez beginning to throw his own left in this round. Marbles, as Ray is wont to say. Notice that Benitez's jab is not what you would call slow by a long shot. But as he throws his left, he has a tendency, Benitez, to dip his head. And that's where, I think, with a minute to go in the third round, you'll see Leonard's fight strategy emerge with the uppercuts. Leonard, again, the swiftness of the hands. As great a fighter as Benitez is, he has not met any fighter with this young man's speed of hands and feet. That's what he's going to have to learn to cope with. Because if he gets Leonard against the ropes, right there, a quick left, astonishingly. And Benita is unhappy with himself. It came from nowhere. Mandatory eight count, a smile from Benitez. He doesn't seem hurt. We're coming close to the end of the round. Just stunned, kind of uh, sheepish over falling prey to that left. Back live, Caesars Ballas, Sports Pavilion. Fourth round underway. One knockdown, the third round. A quick, short left by Sugar Ray Leonard. Flooring, Benitez, embarrassing. He tried to laugh and stare it off. You saw that just at the end of the round before the commercial break. But when he got back to his corner, there was blood coming from the mouth. So now the champion knows that Leonard is for real. There's an intense concentration about Leonard in this fight and has been before it. He had taken to some degree to posturing within the ring. He had become kind of brash in his statements, a la Ali, but not before this fight, a change of attitude. Again, that quick left of Leonard's getting in there. Leonard, with quicker hands, getting the better of the exchange. I was saying at the beginning, Leonard's left the key from his point of view. It is still a very young fight. He's also saying when he's against the ropes, he won't do what Palomino did, stay in front of Benitez. He learned lateral movement at Montreal from great coaches like Sarge Johnson and Pat Nappy. You saw the Benitez right. fourth round. Caution from Padilla and a right 
full caution. Because Ray had half slung Benitez's body. This fight, in the interest and anticipation that surrounded it, talking back to the old days of boxing as the two go at it in a brisk exchange. When the lighter weight classifications captured people, the days of the Canzanaris and the Rosses and the McLaughlins and so many other great ones. Sugar Ray Robinson, Carmen Basilio, LaMotta. The bell has just sounded for round five. The right nostril of Benitez worked on between rounds, blood from it. It had been bloodied a couple of weeks ago in training by a sparring partner. It may have been rendered vulnerable. As Leonard's left has been working effectively. Fans in the arena who are from Puerto Rico are just rooting for Benitez, chan chanting for Benitez. And other fans earlier were chanting for Vito Antrofermo. Still fight with caution. down to the belly, or tries to. They have Leonard Camp. That's been intensely studying films of Benitez's fights over the recent weeks, of course. And likewise, Benitez has been studying Leonard. with his left, throwing it, but not landing with it. Not often, anyway. We have had one knockdown, the flash knockdown in the third round. That, I think, embarrassed Wilfred more than hurt. fighting better in this round. 